Jake brought up the subject of the paratroopers. We have a skydiver in our midst who I happen to know has a bit of knowledge about those paratroopers. Joe, would you like to share with us about that? Thank you, Christine. Well, if I never get tired of talking about my air sports and aviation, a big part of it was my uncle, Doc Welgus. His legal name was Metro Welgus. He married my Aunt Betty after World War II and had two sons, both which went into the Army and became paratroopers, U.S. Army Golden Knights, Green Berets, and uh, uh, world champion skydiver, my cousin Tommy. Their father, Uncle Doc, is what we called him when I was a little kid, was with the 82nd Airborne. 82nd Airborne might not be as well known as the 101st Screaming Eagles, which was the division that was surrounded at uh, Bass Stone, that issued that famous nuts reply when asked to surrender. The 82nd Airborne was the first division to jump in to combat in World War II, they jumped into Sicily, the island of Sicily. And they, they went behind the beachhead where General Patton invaded to soften the response from the Germans, and they faced them off with bazookas and machine guns and rifles, hand grenades against tanks. Uh, they landed in up to 45 mile an hour winds under round parachutes, which have a zero mile an hour airspeed, so they were dragged. These guys were just beat. Some of them were just absolutely head to toe covered in bruises for weeks after this jump. Following that, they jumped into Salerno, which was a, a, a beachhead that was established in southern Italy. And they were talking about abandoning the invasion of Salerno when uh, one of the generals says, no way, call them the paratroopers. The paratroopers went in there. The morale went sky high. And the Salerno invasion continued. My uncle participated in both of these. And then on D-Day, it was his third combat jump. By this point, he had been elevated to sergeant and then went AWOL <laughs> after 30 days of running around in the same underwear and socks in a combat environment and was found under the table, probably intoxicated <laughs> in a brothel. <laughs> you know, who knows what these guys did? And. Um, he was an up and down stars is what they call him. He was a machine gunner in the 505th Parachute Infantry Regiment, which was received two combat presidential citation awards, um, the equivalent of approximately the Congressional Medal of Honor for this whole division. My uncle jumped in on D-Day near St. Marilis and survived his third combat jump. Got put in the market garden in, what do they call that, Belgium, survived that, and then went up to St. Vith, right north of Bastogne, and fought in the Battle of the Bulge. For me, I, I had nothing to do with it, but I just carry this great pride and sense of knowing that my uncle did these things. And, and when I look at my challenges, who said that? The challenges. Jake, when I look at, at the challenges in my life, I think of people like my Uncle Doc and what they survived and what they've done for us and our freedom. And I think, hey, if he could do that, I can do this. Thank you.